Hey, what's up, Kata? Happy Thursday and happy day four of the Kata Convention. So my wife and I, we've started walking, trying to develop some healthier habits, uh, getting healthier, getting more exercise. And, you know, there are times when I get out there on the trail and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do seven miles. I'm going to like, I'm going to make this happen. And I do my seven miles and I'm like, oh, I'm exhausted, you know, and then you want to step on the scale and I'm like, okay, uh, did I lose 20 pounds with this one big walk, this one grand gesture? And of course the answer is no. You know, in order to get healthier, it's not just one big gesture or a couple of grand gestures that are going to do it. It's a process. It takes time. And that's the same way with relationships at our schools, with our students, with our school communities, with our staff. Those relationships take time. It's not going to be one homecoming that's going to be like, oh my gosh, you have the most amazing activities program ever or one prom or one activity. It's not one thing. It's a series of things over time. And I hear this over and over again from our friends like Houston Craft, uh, Scott Bakovich, Phil Boyd, like these people who are experts in developing relationships with students. They keep saying the same thing over and over again. It is about building a school culture where over time you take, it's not just one grand gesture or two great activities. It's the little things that you do each and every day that make a difference in the lives of students in establishing those relationships and in creating a more positive school culture. So my challenge for you today is rather than trying to focus on those big grand gestures, those big events, which are cool, they're really important, right? To like to have those things, have those traditions, but also make sure that you're focusing on the little things each day, the way that we treat each other, the way that we're making our students feel, the way that we're really making them feel like they belong, that they're connected, and that they're listened to, right? And they're truly a valuable part and included part of our school communities. Thanks so much. We'll see you this afternoon for the vendor fair, and then we'll see you for our general session and then arts, crafts, and culture night later on tonight. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great day, Kata. Bye-bye.